It's beginning to look a lot like Christmas. Everywhere you go. Okay, I can't remember the rest of the words. I mean, really, who really remembers all the words to all the Christmas songs? It's probably somebody out there that does, but it's not me. Anywho, what's up, lovely people? It's your girl. Hey, 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 hey. Um, Another episode. I hope you have been enjoying the podcast series, Ain't I a Woman? If you haven't listened to all three parts, I have the third part. The first part is with Shanceology, and the second part is with A Moment with A. So three different parts, three different episodes, three different topics. Please go take a listen. They're all on Apple, Spotify, all the streaming platforms. So make sure you check them out. And we're going to get into our bonus episode, which is owning your sexuality. Yes, we're talking about sexual things. Now we're, yeah, that and other things. But, you know, again, it's another therapy session. So make sure you check it out and enjoy and happy holidays. Make sure you check me out. I have a couple of videos coming out on Ricky Edits Life Media on YouTube. So make sure you're subscribed. And then if you like Insecure, the TV show on HBO, I have TV reviews every Wednesday until the show is over. It's the season finale. So check that out on Ricky Reacts on YouTube as well. And that's it. You know, <laughs> have a good day. Have a good week. Have a good holiday. And I will see you on the next one. All right, y'all. Let's get into this episode. Sexuality. Let's talk about sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. Let's talk about all the good things and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. What? Let's talk about sex. Oh, baby, baby. Okay, I'm gonna stop. Welcome back to a moment with a with a twist. That's why I paused. I was like, okay, how's how's my intro gonna? <laughs> I'm with a chanceology becoming a. Okay, there we go. <laughs> <laughs> like, so, I'm gonna, um, make it one. As you guys know, we we, we as me Akile, <laughs> podcast host of a moment with a, and then I have Sean Sean J, a host of chanceology. Then we have we have Ricky, and I'm the host of becoming a dot 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 podcast. Yeah, so you have three dope female podcasters. Ooh, and if you've been listening to our podcast, you know that we're doing our Ain't I a Woman series. Mm-hmm. So lucky for you guys, we were feeling grateful. <laughs> you know, God gives grace to us and so we extend it to You're other welcome. people. So we're like, you know, we're going to do a fourth little episode. Sounds slight. Yep, <laughs> you know. Sounds slight for these hoes. <laughs> right. <laughs> And it's going to be um, a triple upload, so you'll hear it on a Mamute, you'll hear it on Shant- Shantiology, and then you'll hear it on Becoming a Dot, 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 dot Podcast. And um, before we do that, how's everyone doing? How are you feeling? Blessed and highly favored in the Lord. Love that for you. I am happy to be here. Love that. I'm hungry, but I'm I think hungry. that's like the theme. Like uh, Ricky said, you were hungry last time. I'm just always hungry, bro, because I don't eat. I don't oh, eat. You gotta stop to. doing that. You I know, and it's so irresponsible. Or I'll drink coffee and be like, I ate. No, you didn't, bro. No, you like, didn't. <laughs> but coffee do kind of put a little something to you. It curves bit. your appetite. Yeah, like, it does. You gotta. I gotta stop, y'all. Please pray for me to grow up in Jesus' name. <laughs> okay. Um. Yes, I'm a good. But we're going to be doing our episode, our bonus episode on owning your sexuality. Because mm-hmm. we started on the series about um, A9 and Woman, and it was kind of inspired because Shanti, myself, and another podcaster, we were just kind of talking about how it is to be a woman mm-hmm. in this society and how there's so many things that we can't do that we really want to do that right. are mm-hmm. natural to us, but we just feel deprived. So we're like, yo, we're going to talk about it. Right. So today, we're talking about sex. Let's, Let's talk, talk about sex, sex baby. baby. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about you and me. me. Let's, Let's talk, talk about, about all the good things 
things oh. and the bad things that may be. Let's talk about sex. Hey, let's talk Guys, about sex. I'm a millennial. Oh, I thought about Pretty Ricky. Oh, <laughs> baby, grind with no. me. No, did we just change? Let's we talk really? about we- sex, baby. Let's talk about you and me. And he Let's got- talk about bubbles in the tub. But they got Let's it talk from about making love. But they got it from so yeah, I'm, show, I'm sure. Just, no, but did we just show our age? Yes. I'm yeah, a little, and I think I just showed mine because I was with y'all, and, and then, then I was like, wait, wait, but wait. But see, but that's where they got it from. They got it from. <laughs> Uh, salt and pepper. It was yeah, a combination of other people. Oh, okay. Yeah. Sorry, y'all. Yeah, but no, I actually met Pretty Ricky. It was so really? funny. Really? Uh, because I used to work in radio, uh-huh. so um, they came to the station and it was like, "What's your name?" So my radio name was Pretty Ricky, and so I said, "I'm Pretty Ricky OG Triple OG." That's who I. <laughs> Oh my god. And word. I spell it different <laughs> from them. So every time I came on the radio, because I would go on like on the weekends, and they were like, up next, Pretty Ricky. Everybody calls in thinking it's the group. I said, no, nah, girl, you me. <laughs> <laughs> you thought, but how? You, know. <laughs> you just showed our age, though. Yeah, it's we okay. did. It's we okay, did. y'all. It's, it's okay, right. y'all. It's okay. I know Pretty Ricky, too, so I'm kind of shy. Yeah, like, I thought we were all going to be I'm in sync. And Ricky, so. they were like, no. No, okay, it's, no it's okay. Way. Okay, but we're going to be talking about sex, our sexuality and owning it. So Mm -hmm. um, I think the first question I'm going to propose on the Mm -hmm. table, and this is definitely going to be a group dialogue, by the way, you know, something slight. Um, When were you introduced to sex? Like, was there an age where you just got curious about it? Or like, what did that look like for you? Uh, It would have to be when I was about 13, I learned how to kiss. Ooh. Um, sex was always kind of brought up. My mom was very open with us, and if somebody touched you down there, if you did, mm-hmm. so it was more of like a fear thing. But when sex became like kind of a arousal type of situation, uh, this this guy had uh, kissed me because he wanted to teach me how to kiss. And when he finished, she he didn't say nothing. And my cousin was like, "What? She was bad." He was like, "Hell yeah." <laughs> So oh, I was no. like, oh my god! Like honestly, I knew I was Wait, bad. Why though. was your cousin there? Like, my cousin was li- <laughs> my cousin was older than me, and she's the type that would tell me to do stuff. Like she'll be like, go, "You you can have that boy right there, so go get him from your friend." And like oh. I was still him because she oh. told me to do it. Like my friend, like my my friend, oh, cousin is told me that she had met a boy. He was riding on the bike. She thought he was cute, and I'm like, oh, okay. And but we never saw the boy. You know, whatever boy she met, we just like okay. So when we finally met met this random boy one day, he was really cute, and we mm-hmm. was just like talking to him. And I ended up finding out later on that that was him. Uh. And my cousin was like, "You know, you can, you can pull him if you want to, right? Get him. You should take him from him." And I'm like, "Uh, uh-uh, uh, that's my friend." She was like, "Pull him, take him." And I was just like, "Okay." So you pulled him and you took him. I lost nope. him. I did. I and I oop. And I was, and I was uh, just a horrible friend. So Oof. when um that night he snuck up to our window. Oh no! And Y'all were yeah. bad as hell. My my, no, my cousin, like honestly, she really influenced me because she was like, "Let him teach you how to kiss." Like she was egging me. I was like, oh, I'm so scared. And she's like, "No, do it." And so he taught me how to kiss. And girl, had my little look, a little wet. I was like, "Oh, that's how I feel." So, but we didn't we didn't have sex. I was too young for that shit. But that that's probably the first time, you know, my little thing jumped a little bit. I got a little wet down there. That was probably the first. Yeah, that's nasty, huh? No, 13. no, girl. No. I was a lot younger. Oh, okay. I don't Good. even remember to tell you the <laughs> truth. Yeah, don't feel bad. <laughs> okay, because I didn't feel bad. I was 13. Yeah, because I just remember my grandmother saying, don't have sex with boys, you get pregnant. I Never mind. I was going to say I hate that, but I don't but, hate your grandma. No, no, <laughs> I do too. I, yeah, no, but that's what I was, my because I, I live with my grandmother and my great-grandmother. Growing up, so, mm. yes, honey. Mm. So that was a lot. Don't these boys? And you know the the crazy thing is, it was only boys on my street that I played with. <laughs> Pretty <laughs> Ricky, and, and you know you. Uh, I'm showing my age, but we play. You know, hide and go get it. You know, oh, you, you, so it. you already know. Um, <laughs> we, <laughs> because you know, w- once you like a young age, and then. You start looking at your friends a little differently. But you kind of cute. Right. So my first experience was, I was, this is not a good experience, but I was in middle school and I, you know, developed a little bit more than the other girls mm-hmm. in my class. And you know how they do put pencils in their shirt and make fun of you and stuff. So uh, these two boys, they're brothers. They followed me home 
And then they try to put their hands down my pants. Ooh. Oh, wow. Yeah. They violated you there. Uh-huh. That's a violation. It is. <laughs> and <laughs> being the only child, it was so hard because I'm like, I'm screaming to the top of my lungs. Like, they're both on me. Not, like, physically, but they're just, like, grabbing me. And I'm trying to get home. Like, my house is, like, right there. Like, I'm looking at my house. And there's these men, like, uh, fixing on a house that got burned down. I'm screaming to the top of my lungs. Nobody would help me. Oh, my wow. great-grandmother came out the house and told them to leave me alone. That's how loud I was yelling. And it was just, it was very traumatic. And I was just like, well, I will never, I don't want boys in my life. And so I started dressing like, like baggy clothes. Like I don't want nobody to see me. Like I was like, don't look at me at all. Wow. That's actually traumatic. That's unfortunate. <laughs> that's that's really listen. fucking Yeah. yeah like, so, bro. yeah. And, and I was just like, I don't, I don't know. I just, it was the worst. And I hated school after that. Like I didn't want to go back. Um, and I just, I was like, you know how those emo kids, like, you just wear all black and just, I just like, I don't want nobody to see that I have a shape. And then my mom was like, why you do that? And I was like, and I never told her that happened to me. Um, and I got into, you know, wearing dresses and stuff when I got older, but I really didn't like it. Because still, when I think back to this day, how men approached me and I was very young. Yeah. Um, and I look at my son at the age I was when I was getting sexually harassed. I'm like, you look like a child. Yeah. <laughs> what the, these grown men. And I thought about it. I was like, these were grown men. That's and I, and I, I, and I, it's a couple of things that I thought about when I was now. And I was like, yo, that probably wasn't right. He shouldn't have probably touched me like that. Yeah, so it's it wasn't that great of an experience for me. So oh wow, yeah, that's not good at all. That's unfortunate, and that's probably the 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 blockage that I have for sex sometimes because I can't let go. Hmm. Yeah, hmm. you know what I'm saying. So, anywho, what about you? Y'all, <laughs> when you was three years old, what happened? I wasn't three. <laughs> wow. Don't do me. I was wow. not three. <laughs> That's rude. <laughs> I'm just playing. No, but um, honestly, y'all, I feel like my whole entire childhood, not, let me not say my whole entire childhood, but like maybe from the age, how old are you in the third grade? Seven? Uh, yeah, you, you had to be eight. My son Seven, eight. Seven, eight? Yeah. yeah. Okay. So I was always like, sex was just always on my head. Like really? I, yeah, the first time I got suspended, and I talked about this on a past podcast episode called From Hurt to Heal, where we kind of talk about our trauma. First time I ever got suspended, I was in the third grade. It was because me and this boy got caught dry humping by our teacher. Like, no cap. <laughs> it's not funny. This is so sad. Are you serious? <laughs> yes, I was in the third grade. Then I, I we got suspended. Then I had to go to therapy. You oh. was on top or he was on top? <laughs> he was on top. But we weren't having sex, like, Y'all obviously. Yeah, we were like, yeah. Yeah. yeah, no, I know what you mean. <laughs> right. You hunching. Yeah, I get it. Yeah, but I was, like, in the third grade. Uh, like, I was a jet. And I feel like at the time, obviously, you know, there were six of us. So I didn't really have a lot of, like, guidance because my mom wasn't there. Sis was working. My dad was not a part of my life. Mm-hmm. So it was just kind of me. And I feel like I looked at sex as a way to, like, be accepted. Right. Because, like... Mm. I wasn't the only one at that age talking about sex. But yeah. I, I, like, I didn't have friends. I was bullied a lot. So I just, like, was like, okay, well, maybe if I do what everybody else is doing, then, like, They'll shit like will be you. okay. But, yeah. no, they still, it was still terrible. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> wow. And then, um, so that was probably when it was, like, really kind of first introduced. And then, like, I would always be, like, watching sex scenes that I wasn't, that I knew I wasn't supposed to be watching, but I would mm. still kind of watch them and just stuff like that. So it started really early really for me. Early, right. Like, yeah, I lost my, I lost my virginity when I was 14. But it was, like, with my first little boyfriend. Mm. So it was, like, okay. But even, like, before then, like, I was just always just, like, doing stuff with boys that I wasn't, su- like, stuff that I wasn't supposed to be doing. Because you or, like, want to learn. Or yeah, but I don't know why I was so fucking curious. I think it was just, like, trying to fill the void of just, like, mm. not I just ha- not doing what kids were, like, supposed to be doing. Did it feel good? Um, no. Not really. Is this, it, I don't feel like it's supposed to feel good at like, that I'm saying, age, like, you know? Like, like why did you keep doing it? What motivates you to keep doing it? 
the arousal part of it, you know, like did it yeah. did it make you like cuz I I remember hunching. And you know, it felt good. It didn't like feel like it never felt good to me. Like sex is still something that I struggle with in mm. regards to kind of like how Ricky was saying was like letting go. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Cuz it's like Y'all, there's some trauma there. <laughs> now that but I'm even sitting here dissecting be it now. Because of my own insecurities, not because no, of- And it's not even like that. Okay, I get okay. So back to that's where it was introduced. And okay. then like fifth grade, I had like some experience with other girls. Yeah. Like she's just wild. <laughs> I'm not you in fifth grade. Like fifth yeah. grade, like fifth what, grade. 10? Yes. Wow. Wow. And then, like, the neighborhood kids, they don't make it better because, like, oh, like, little boyfriend, little girlfriend type mm, shit. So yeah. it's, it, there's a lot of different factors that, like, like go house. into it. Mm-hmm. But, like, I was really hypersexual as a child. Like, mm-hmm. I was always doing things that I wasn't supposed to be doing, sending pictures and like, high school and middle school. Like, I, when I tell you I don't know how I've got to be this person that I am today, like, I mean that. Like, yo, it's wild, but... Wow. The end of my I used story. to flash boys, but I had no. I used to enough. send videos. Uh uh-uh. uh. Yeah, oh, like your breast. Yeah, and like the not with your face in it. <laughs> not oh, with my face. Find a picture. <laughs> look, hey, I be telling like, look, <laughs> no, not with no, my face. In not it. with your face in. Not no, with no birthmark. I, I, I no, would send like really explicit videos, and like in like the eighth grade was when we all like me and my homegirls we all started giving head. Like we would just, I was just eighth out there, gr- girl. Wow, I was just out there. I'm gonna pick up Callie. <laughs> No, <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure she has a lot of guidance and things like but that. But what about like? Because like when you say, because you were pretty young, I was. And I was you legit. were watching things. That's where the curiosity started. No, it was. I don't know where. Like I wish I could like go back in time and just pinpoint mm. the day where it's like, okay, this is the day I saw something that I shouldn't have seen. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but I don't know. I but I was always watching. Like I used to steal my mom pornos. Like I was just always just curious about like. And okay. I, don't, I don't even think it was yeah. a matter of curiosity. It's like, oh, I just really want to know, like, how to do this. Mm. I really wanted to know how to fit in. I really wanted okay. to know, like, how well, to, that makes sense. you know, I don't know. what the love. Yes. Be, it, just, it, just, that yeah. is so sad. That mm-hmm. is so sad. Yeah. But, mm-hmm. yeah. So, so you didn't have a, you didn't, have, like, that experience, sound, both of your experiences sound horrible. Like, my experience for me, I was just always scary. Like, you know, if I had sex, uh, no, not even have sex. I was going to get raped. That was my biggest That's fear. Because a lot fears. of people, mm-hmm. that is still one of my fears too, but a lot of people in my family had been raped and yeah. molested. So everything to me was just like straightforward. Like nobody even look at me, like don't touch me and all this stuff. And so for me, I was very open with my mom. Like if somebody touched me or, or anything like that. So when I did my little kiss in bed or whatever, and he got between my legs and it just got like becoming like kind of intimate, my cousin was actually one who stopped it. The one who started it, by the way. Um. <laughs> but there was there was still like a little bit. Ooh, but it was it wasn't like I'm ready to have sex either though. Like I could stop it. Like you know, I would I would just be kissing. Even after that, he tried to have sex with me. I still was like no because I just was so scary. Like I was terrified. Like if I did this, like you know, it's gonna hurt, and you know, he's gonna rape me, or I'm just terrified. So for yeah. me, it was just fear. Most of the time, like if I if I probably wasn't scary, I probably lost my virginity too. But I was so <laughs> scared. I'm just joking. But I was so scary. So for me, sex didn't get really. I didn't really get into sex until after I lost my virginity. Mm. Way after, as a matter of fact, like way like I hated sex. I, that's kind of why I, why I went to girls because I hated being penetrated. Hmm. It was like, mm. hurry up. Are you a lesbianist? I am not. I like to be penis. I like penis. <laughs> Mm, I don't, I don't. But there was that moment where it was just like, I don't want a guy on top of me. I don't want him in between my legs. So, yeah, and that, it just wasn't, it didn't, I didn't enjoy it. Right. I didn't actually start enjoying sex until like now. But then, no. Mm-mm. I didn't really like it. It was like, come on, do what you gotta do. Right. It's just like a <laughs> chore. And that's, yeah. I think that's why, like, it's something you have to do when you're in a relationship. Yeah. But I really don't enjoy it because. Nobody, I don't. I actually I, enjoy more outside of my relationship. Like when I'm not in a relationship, I actually enjoy sex more. I'm the, weird? I'm the reverse. You enjoy it more when you're in a relationship, mm-hmm. but like I don't know. Like I have to be mm-hmm. emotionally connected to you. Don't get me yeah, wrong. Yeah, yeah. And for some reason, I'm emotionally connected to people that don't want a relationship. Because <laughs> I don't even know if I want a relationship. So it's like it's like for me, like for some reason that that just kind of makes me like want them more than when they acting like kind of different yep. and stuff like that. But like the ones that just sat like. 
saliva all over my ass. That's the ones I don't even want to have sex with. I'd be like, yeah, I don't even want to. <laughs> all right. Like, I swear, like, it feels like it's a duty with them versus yeah. when somebody that I'm not supposed to be I with. I just feel, like, and, obligated to yeah. do it because that's what we're supposed to do. Um, and half the time, they don't even care about what they're doing to you in the first place. Some of them. I'm not going to say all of them. Some of them. Um, they don't care it, about your pleasure. Yeah. Um, there's, Gosh, as fuck. Yeah, and it's it's one guy that I had that actually like asked me questions. Was like, so what do you like? And I was like, you know what? I don't know. <laughs> I really don't know. Like, I just do it because I'm like, I, I like. Have to, you know, <laughs> I'm just now getting to. I mind you, like a lot of shit has happened. I've been married and stuff right. like that. But um, I'm just getting to like a point and like a healthy. Where in my mind, where I feel like I have a healthy relationship with sex. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. That's good. You know. Like yeah. before, like I I was I I wouldn't say that I wouldn't say that I was a player, but I would say that I like I want to be a player. <laughs> no more. I definitely had <laughs> niggas that I could just hit them and be like, "Hey, come drop some dicks off." They would drop some oh. dick off, and then they would go home. Mm-hmm. And that was just my way for like hey, undergrad. Look here, and you didn't have feelings. No, like literally, it was just like I'm stressed out about this test. I need some dick. They would come give me some, and then they would leave. Nice. And I was perfectly okay with that for a very long time. Just, like, not having that, like, But emotional... having good dick, I'd be like, who you giving that to? Do you I like didn't somebody give a else? That's how I'd because be Because you're not my nigga. Like, I don't fucking <laughs> care. I wish I could be like that. I'd be like, so you fucking somebody else? But it's such a dangerous place to be. It is. You know? It is. It yeah. is. That is when, and when um, D asked us that question, like, do you have a healthy relationship with sex? I was like... Because, like, what the fuck does a healthy relationship with sex look How, like? Right. Yeah, like, can you demonstrate it? it? Can you show me? <laughs> can you use it in a sentence? Right. <laughs> you have a video on your phone? Let me see. Because, like, like, no, seriously. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I, I don't even think there's a, t- I think, I don't even think there's a time when you have it. Like, I think there's just, like, episodes in your life when you do. Like, if that makes sense, like, for instance, we were just talking about relationships. I feel like an obligation. I feel like at certain points, in your relationship, like you just sex don't excite you no more. You don't want to have sex. You just want to lay up and watch a movie together. Whereas he's just that like right, and he's just like yeah, let me get some. And you just like no, like and I feel like even now I feel like it's the obligation. Like you know I didn't give him none in the last three weeks. So let me just go right. on ahead right. and end over. God damn. Right, and I and I I don't like that I'm at this point because I'm like. I, I want it to be spontaneous. I literally want to be like washing clothes in the laundry room. You want a porno scene? Drop that dick. You want a whole porno scene? You like, up. oh like, my god! I dropped the detergent yes, on the do. ground. Yes, I do. Yes, I, do. And I want that energy. I don't want to feel bad. I don't want you to be like at three o'clock um, on Thursday. I'm coming up and with the kids in the mm-hmm. in the other room. Mm-hmm. Like I don't mm-hmm. like that. Yeah. Like I, you know what? Now that the titty, I start sucking it. Like yeah, get me there. Period, like period. don't just be like oh three thirty five. Have y'all see that thing? Uh, let me suck your titties, babe. Yeah. With the baby. <laughs> <laughs> but that's how kind of how it feels. Like I don't want it to be. It's just so structured now like and it's so boring like that's why i I guess that's kind of why like i like sex better with people i'm not actually dating because mm. it's like it's spontaneous it's it's extra it's dramatic it's a mm. tv show like oh my god you got my motherfucking nerves and we arguing and the next thing you know we talking to each other now and then we have some good ass sex and then Jody, you go back to that exactly <laughs> Some dysfunctional she shit. She wants yep. some toxic some, shit. Some toxic. Thank you. Right. Thank you. That but, was very it, toxic. But it shows you that I don't have a healthy relationship with sex. <laughs> this is, yeah. that, that answers the question. I don't have a healthy you relationship. You just reminded me, like, um, I had a good time. Like, I like uh, role playing. Mm-hmm. So I like I have a lot of wigs. Um, <laughs> call me Regine. Um, <laughs> and uh, so one time, I don't know. Uh, yeah, no, it's fine. One time... Um, I had this wig, and I was like, you know what? I'm just going to show up to the door, and I'm going to be a whole other person. And I had fun. Like, I was like, my name, I don't know what name, Sandra, say that was my name. And then he's like, what's up, Rick? I was like, no, my name is Sandra. Ricky's not here. And he's like, oh, oh, we Love doing it. this? And he's yes. like, we're doing what? You want to come in? Like, it was just a whole thing. And I was like, oh, this is what? And I was like, don't call. I was like, you call me who one more time? <laughs> and it just, <laughs> it was a whole fun. moment. But, you know, I was like, okay, this is fun. I like so this. So, like, there's moments where it's healthy and it's good. Right, yeah. And there's moments where it's like, let me get this boy some ass. Or, 
I just want some dick real quick. Like, you know, I had a stressful week, like you said. Like, let me just get something real quick. Right. And it's not that's not healthy. Like, so it's like I guess you have those just those moments where it's I think healthy. it should be it's a not. balance. It should always be kind of be a balance. Yeah. Because I don't think I'm ever going to be that person where it's like I don't want just a little bit of toxic shit in my relationship, just a little. <laughs> right. You just know, a little bit. especially because like I'm a lot to deal with, and I don't like yeah. a bad way. I'm just saying like I know that I'm the shit. Right. And I know that I got a smart ass mouth, and I just, I know it. So right. I know it takes a certain man to handle mm. a key light. So baby, please handle me. Right. <laughs> Anything you like that? Like, yeah, I think too. Like, I love to talk, and I remember mm. I was talking to to my person, and um, I was like, I was I was saying to him, give me that cum, whatever, and it just felt so good to be nasty. <laughs> oh, while in sex? <laughs> no, it was actually I was like touching him, like yeah. touching no. his thing, but like I wasn't trying she to was like touching that dick, right? I wasn't trying to release <laughs> him, but it, it ended up turning him on, and he ended up. Bust it one. I was just like, oh, I got Bust a good it. little top. Bust hey. it. And so for me, I like doing nasty stuff like that. Like, but for him, he's like, I think he got just kind of awkward. So it's like, we, if we're not on the same page, when but it see, comes down if we're on the same wavelength right. of like nastiness, then it's but just see, like, that's, that's yeah. why we need to have conversations before we have sex. Yes. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Because yes. if you can't match my nastiness. I don't know if we need to be together. Period. My nastiness is not consistent, though. My nastiness oh. is based off emotions or how I'm feeling that But that's, that day. Not, that's but normal. Still, but it's yeah. like, I think it's all about having, like, those healthy conversations yeah. and making them healthy, making Because why normal. is it so awkward for us to talk, talk about, about sex? sex? Okay, I, I, I can't. Never mind, I'm not going to say anything. Are you, open no. to, are you open to having, talk about sex? Like Yes, because, you know, I was in my season of celibacy. Mm-hmm. But she's not celibate anymore. I was. I, I feel like I am now. She like, yeah, she's not down and she's not celibate. Yeah, but she's also not thought in about that. And that's right. on period. But there is a situation where, um, yeah. And <laughs> we were just having a genuine conversation about it afterwards. About like, well, I like when you do this and this, this and that. Mm-hmm. But I don't really like this that much. And it's just like, it is such a healthy right. place to be with like the person that you're having sex with. Like mm-hmm. you should then be able they, to they talk do it, to them. Yeah. And or then it, if they do something you don't like, you should be able to say, hey, little bubby, I, I wasn't feeling that. that? Did he yeah. Receive and it? he gave me feedback on things that he liked and there things that he thought that I could do better like, on. Sound, and I was like, like okay. The sex going to be so much better. And it, it, I think it's about maturity too. Yeah. Because it uh. you takes a lot to be able to hear that, like, okay, maybe my head game is not as strong as I thought it was. Right. But, you know, I can be better at this. But you were a little rusty due to your... You know, I wasn't specifically <laughs> saying that my head game was trash because it's oh, not. Oh, okay. <laughs> I was just using it as an excuse, <laughs> as, as, like, as, an, as an example. Oh, okay, okay. I was just saying because uh, you know you had a little high You know, I was so. a little rusty, but, right. like... You got back in the groove. I, she's still getting back in the groove. Because okay. I don't have sex, like, a lot. You know, yeah. I'm not out here thought in my pen. Which is good, yeah. Yeah, always. Good. Do you do you think that sex, um, the energy transfer from sex, hundred percent, and that's why I yep. don't have sex, and mm-hmm. that's why I'm so sp- mm-hmm. specific about it because mm-hmm. I have, I feel like, and you know, this is just me being a key like kingdom care. I don't feel like you should be having sex with anyone mm-hmm. that one you don't want to be in a relationship with, two you don't want to be a parent with because <laughs> anything could happen. So yeah, I'm just really big on that because sex does transfer energy. That is so much that yep. goes into you entering inside my body, bro. Like right. that's a big fucking deal. And that's why I won't have sex with just anyone. Right. Just not even anyone. That's like, cause when we're in a bad space yeah, and you're like, well, yeah, I'm mad at you. Yeah. We're not really fucking with each other. Like we usually do, but I want to have sex. No, I can't. I can't because and I want to too. Like, cause I kind of like, not that I want to cause I'm horny, but I want to cause like, like just because we're like not where we're supposed to be at where we need to be. Like, let me just get him some. Like, out of, I guess out of like obligation and kindness of your heart. And, right. Like, you know, we all need a little release there now and again. So right. like, but it's like, I swear like my body just won't allow me. Like, I mean, yeah. like, just the thought of them being inside of me annoys me, made me want to throw up. Like, I don't want you even touching me mm-hmm. because we're not where we're supposed to be. Because I feel like I feel like the moment we have sex when we're in a bad space or you're in Mm-mm. a bad space, it comes to me and it then does. I'm in a bad space. And you don't even enjoy it. Yeah, really. and it's not really that good. No, it's like literally like, can you please hurry up? Like I feel violated. Like I, I one time told a guy to, to get me in my marriage. To um to stop having sex with me during the whole thing. Because I was just out I, I wasn't feeling it and his energy, it's just, it was a lot of things playing, and I didn't know at that time. Now I understand why I was feeling that way because I was thinking about the situation. But I was like, I can't do it. Like, can you get off me? He was like, what's wrong? I was like, I just, 
Yeah. You're just here and I'm getting annoyed now because it's just. I'm ready for I'm, you to go. <laughs> like, I'm done. Like, I, I was really done. Like, I didn't talk to him after that. Because I was like, I'm really done with this situation. Um, and, you know, I, it took having sex with him was really weird to realize that I was like, this is not doing f- for me anymore. This I'm, is not what it's supposed yeah, to Yeah, I'm <laughs> over the situation. I'm over him. Sad it had to take sex for it to happen, but I'm sorry. <laughs> you know? Yeah. How do you feel about pubes? Do you want your man to be bald down there? I don't want him to be bald, but I don't want it to be a lot for me, bro. Because yeah, my thing is it's maintenance. And my, my vagina gets waxed every month faithfully on schedule. She's clean. I'm so scared She's to do good. that. Girl, go ahead and get waxed. It, it hurts. I'm not even going to finish okay. it. Never let anyone lie to you and say that it doesn't Oh, I'm sure it does. it does. I'm sure it does. But it it's worth point. it. Like parts of the... It hurts, but other parts sometimes, like the vulva part, it doesn't really hurt. I don't know because it's had like like kind of bone on it or something. So when it rips hard. off, it doesn't feel like flabby. It's not like uh, extra meat. Uh, but when you get to the lips part of it, it's like uh, all right, bitch, nah. Hurt like just hurry the fuck up, <laughs> right? Just like, hurry up. Just, can you just, just get one little good strip and just right? Rip can you just that do it on? one? Just bro, <laughs> one just long up. one. Just but the thing is, like the more that you do it, the less time it yeah. takes. Like it takes and like fifteen and it doesn't minutes. Doesn't hurt now. as much. It doesn't get used to it. And you just talk to your lady, make it go faster, right? But my thing is, I feel like it's maintenance. I get maintenance, so I need yeah. you to get maintenance, too. Like, you don't have to get, like, a Brazilian or anything. Right. But when I'm giving you head, bro, I'm not trying to have 55 million pubes in my fucking <laughs> mouth, bro. Like, do you mind? Disgusting. Do you mind? So that I can do my job down here. My The hair <laughs> issue that I have is the, the hair that's right. Like where the balls at in between the thighs. I hate that hair. I'm like, cut that shit off. Like it looks disgusting. And then like, well, maybe they don't know. Or when it's like right, at the, you know, you got the dick, you got the stem, and then you got all the hair right there. So it's almost like your dick looks smaller because it has oh, it's so much hair buried. Mm. Like, bro, is it grass? And it's like, <laughs> he cut it off. It's so. And I had one guy that refused. He was like, I just trim it, but I ain't gonna cut it off. But when he would trim it, he didn't really trim it. Like that shit was still there, and I, he would never get hair from me. I was like, I'm not giving you hair into that shit. It's gone. Like it doesn't smell fresh. It doesn't even look good. Like I need oh, your dick to look taste. good. Ugh. Like no. And I just I love me a look. I I don't mind if he balls it, but I prefer just a little bit of sprinkles, a little flicks. You Some know. slight, right? Like slight. And it makes it a little bigger too. So <laughs> and it just makes it easier for me to maneuver right. through. Right. Like, Do you bro, want this or not? I'm trying to be sloppy toppy, and you just throwing off my whole vibe. Right. Body, well, it's freaking hair. My damn teeth. I hate hair as it is. Like as soon as it leaves the body, I want to throw up and die. So like, if you just put that near me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> damn. As a matter of fact, I need a wax. I'm just gonna. I actually just got waxed like last week. So I'm pretty good. <laughs> yeah, I, need I just, uh, I just, and, and my thing is, it does. I just feel like every time I get waxed, I need to get head, and it's just such a bad like thing to do. Doesn't it excite but, like, you though, a little it bit? It does. Cause like, bro, <laughs> like who's about to come fucking? I'm about to come get this shit. It feels weird. Well, I just shave mine. I don't wax because I haven't got there yet. But I, w- I want to do it once just to say, okay, I did it. Right. I did it. Maybe I like it, but it's just like, it, it just feels so good. You just want to touch yourself. It's just like, ooh. Yeah, I felt like I was a virgin again. My coochie was Do like, you guys masturbate? Yeah. I have not masturbated in a, like a year. <coughs> so I would have to say no. I I have, though. I was I, I masturbated at least once a month before mm-hmm. to get that, like, and it was always like a week after my period because that's when I get horny. I'm the <laughs> horniest oh, that we got to my period. Like I'm like no, I'm before, <laughs> so I know it's coming on. <laughs> so I, I like, used to be before, but after mm-hmm. I had kids, it became after. It was weird. I was like, why did I switch? But yeah, I'm so horny, and and the shit that comes out, like I'm just super wet, like a damn river. So I'm like, yeah, who's gonna penetrate? But me you, today? <laughs> I heard, and I don't know how true this is. I haven't really like researched it, but I know someone said that if you um, masturbate, like. Once your cycle ends, it helps get the rest of the stuff out. Mm-hmm. So, like, if you're right on, like, you know how you have those brown days when it's like, okay, yeah. it's toward the end. Yeah. Yeah. But they say if you masturbate, it'll help it uh, come out sooner. Oh, I don't masturbate. Do not. I do not. Part a large part of it was because I was celibate, so you know I just wasn't trying to indulge in any sexual right. pleasures, yeah. which was great. I love my season of celibacy. Y'all know, like, yeah, he was proud of that. I yeah, still am. I probably will. Well, okay, let me be quiet. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> you about to say I'm about to go like, back. Let me not get ahead of myself. Wait, hold on. 
But I feel like I do want to explore um, masturbating now just mm. because I know. And you I've need to learn about, your body. Yes. And I've talked about this on my podcast before, but I've never like came before. Like I've never had like an orgasm from sex period. Never even from head. No, like ever in life. What is they doing? What? Cause I can't penetration. I don't come, <laughs> but from head, please, honey, I'm gonna. I was, I'm in shock mouth. here. Yeah, like, like, I've never came before. Like, like I never ha- I came but before I, in I think, sex, but no, yeah, in sex and head and anything. Akile has never like. <laughs> you have a you have a you have a duty to do. You Her have a, you have homework. You, so you do. These are the problem areas. One. <laughs> So uh, this area right Yeah, so here. this is the problem areas. I've already talked about it with, like, my therapist. I know okay. certain things. One, I think it's, it's for me, it's really all about emotions. And if I don't feel, like, 100%, like, vulnerable with mm-hmm. the person that I'm being intimate with, I can't allow you to have me in that way. Like, I literally, in my can't head, it I can't. So I know it's that. And two, I just think that I just need to take more time to learn my body. Mm-hmm. Which is why I want to start masturbating. So I'm gonna go to like the sex store soon. But you, you used to talk to girls, and they never made you come. I didn't use to talk to girls. I had a sexual experience at the fifth grade. Oh, <laughs> That's okay. It. Oh, okay, okay. I, but I don't think it's the other person. I think it's literally me. You have so a block. when you get hit, I do think that I, it, I it's, so it's literally me. Yeah, I have so many questions because one minute I think you got a healthy relationship, but then it then it comes unhealthy, then it comes out the health. Like I don't know, I'm all over the place with you right now. <laughs> <laughs> But She's in shock right now. She's in I'm shock. I'm very shocked. She is. Okay, yeah. so uh, so when they give you head, how mm-hmm. how long does that last? Like, does it just get you wet? It can last a really long time because I don't, like, you know, come. Do you lie to them and say that you come? Because since you tell no. me you don't come from sex or come from head or anything like that, but like, oh, I'll make sure you come. And so you, you know how niggas get. You got to lie and be like, yeah, babe, I can't. No, so I'm not going to lie to you. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, but seriously, they be trying to brag about how uh, they really come. do. And, and I've yeah. had the guys like, "Oh, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna be the first guy." Okay, mm, no, no, you're not, sir. It's not gonna be you. Akila, you're missing out, sis. So I've heard. I've heard. Use that finger. Let me see that finger. Oh, no, you're so <laughs> the weird. The middle finger. <laughs> wow. I want you to get this middle finger tonight. I'm gonna get like you need to like, do some research. Are there's you right-handed? There's this, I'm right-handed. <laughs> Stop. There's this sex toy that I really want to get. It's like this bro, the flower thing. Oh, I got it. Oh yeah. my motherfucking gosh! How is it? it? Oh, mm-hmm. you get a job done. Oh, it gets is it that done. what I need? <laughs> it get it gets it done. But also, I gotta allow myself to let go with myself. Oh, I, got to, I gotta do think about some nasty shit. I mean, they're like someone. See, like like so I, I can like I can do it to where it's just like oh release and I'm good. But to really like because you know let go and really have a full good orgasm, I have not had that. Like I could just you know oh, oh you know yeah this oh is it's bad for you too. Well, it's not bad. It's just like I still need to let go and just I, what's holding me back from having it. You know, I gotta de- look into that. And it's also probably, like, past relationships, you know? And sometimes I do it because I'm like, I'm just horny. Let me just get it over with. That's really what it is mm-hmm. half the time. I'm not really sitting there, like, because I know, um, I don't know if y'all follow Shane Booty um, on Instagram. She's, like, a not a sex therapist, more like a counselor. Mm-hmm. But she talks about sex a lot. And she was like, set the mood for yourself. Mm-hmm to wine and dine yourself, get to know yourself. So take yourself on a date, you know, make it very romantic. And then, you know, take a bath, explore yourself, get in the bed, you know, have some silk sheets, like set the mood for, for that. That sounds good though. Yeah. I love that. I'm going to do that. I just moved too. So I'm like, I'm decorating. Yeah. So like once I get every, yeah. Yeah, She's so gonna go to the sex store. Yeah, so I might just like you know rent me a hotel room, you know, spoil myself, and just actually do that and just see if that's a difference, and I can just really like let it go because sometimes I'll be there and I'm like, no, you know what I'm saying, and I can't. I was yeah. gonna tell it myself, but I'm gonna tell yourself. I feel like I've told a lot of this <laughs> this podcast episode, but you know it's a. It's a moment with that slash chanceology slash becoming gay. <laughs> <laughs> like, cause I know that there's a situation that I've been in with the person whom I have been sexually intimate with mm-hmm. um, post celibacy. That's a long, like, 
explanation. It's okay. But, um, like, I know that there's times where, like, I'll stop myself or, mm-hmm. like, I'll stop him just because it's like, bro, I don't need you all up in my business like that. So I think it's also just, like, a, uh, and for me, it's an emotional thing. Yeah, mm-hmm. absolutely. It sounds it's 100% like it is. is. But it's like, I don't be wanting to, like, I feel like that's a lot to give to someone. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Your whole is. like, I feel like it's my being. Right, you giving him a part of your soul. Because maybe when you do, have yes, your, your that's organism. a lot. The fuck, like, and I don't know. And are we going to be together forever? Right. Like, <laughs> and I don't trust you enough to give you that part of me. So that's probably what, I, girl. It, it's a hundred percent that. That's it. It. It, it, makes it's, sense, it, it. Because it's so much, especially when like we've had like these crazy unhealthy relationships <sighs> with sex. Mm-hmm. I was in a marriage, and it was still an unhealthy relationship with sex. So it's yeah. like. Bro, that's a lot to give you. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It to is. give you me. And it's yeah. a part that I've literally never given mm-hmm. someone else. Mm-hmm. How do I know you're worthy? Right. Cool. Well, Hello. These juices, the extra You know, <laughs> of, how do I know you're worthy of a kile? Mm-hmm. Well, are you worthy of it? Because you need to go get you something. I am. I am worthy of me. So, yeah, so get you you. I got to trust me before I can trust somebody <laughs> right, else. Right, there you get go. You, you. Oh, my gosh. Look at there this. is go. a really dope co- podcast <laughs> episode. <laughs> I was up this there. is fire. Yeah. Yeah, you got to know you. Yeah. Damn. I mm-hmm. feel like you're going to get definitely more comfortable with your sexuality once you do release. And then I know. Maybe on your own, like by yourself, doing it mm-hmm. yourself. Like, you probably won't even need a toy. You probably just need to use your middle finger and get the flicking. Or see what you like. Yeah. I think I want to see what I like. Yeah. I want to, like, explore. Yeah, yeah. pornos helps. Um, no, books no. help. I try not to do pornos. Mm-hmm. I feel like they create unrealistic expectations. I <laughs> actually love are. them. Like, it's as funny as they are sometimes. They're <laughs> kind of funny. I like, do love funny fucking pornos. Right. Like, like, the storyline is dumb. Right. <laughs> I love that shit. I'll be laughing. <laughs> I'll be like, really? Oh, like, also, like, when really? I used to, I, I, I watched it. a porno one time with a boy I was dating, and he was like, baby, we could do better than that. And I was just like, okay. Show me. Like, right, I'm three years old. Okay. Well, not with that young, but. And yeah, it was good. Like it's like it's it's exploring and sharing things with each other. Like that's intimacy for it me. Is. Like, right. It is. Yeah. And it's fun. And it's uh, that makes you open up. Like that makes you be like, because right. you know you be extra self conscious. Like I'm naked. Like that's my biggest issue. Being mm-hmm. full blown naked during sex. It's only one. What I'm trying to get on the cover. Mm-hmm. It's only one person I can do that with, and I don't feel self conscious. See. Me, I'm be like under the covers, like come on, come on, come yeah. on. Come but it's are. also turn with, off all the lights. With that relationship, it's also because we talk like we're like this, mm-hmm. like we're friends first, besties. You know, yeah, yeah. Like we can go a whole like I've met up with him before, and we just talked the whole time, like four or five hours, just talking, mm-hmm. nothing sexual at all, and then. A couple weeks later, he was like, hey, can I come up? <laughs> and we still, like, ha- do that, but also talk afterwards. Talk, and then go back into it. You know, it's just like, but we have that kind of connection. But I'm still like, I don't trust you. Mm. Right. <laughs> you know, I'm like, I don't, still don't. I Like, in anybody's eyes, oh, this is the perfect relationship. Mm-hmm. You should go for it. And I'm like, but I still don't trust him. Or maybe you don't trust you. Yeah. That because you, know you know, is, is it really about them, right? At this, about point, us? at this point, mm. and what we don't trust, yeah. Mm. I mean, you have to get to because honestly, that's what accountability part comes in at. Mm. Like, I always try to, like, now try to take accountability for my own actions first yeah. or what I did, like, mm-hmm. that could have made it better, and then I stop pointing fingers because you know. At the end of the day, I'm pointing fingers. So, for like, I think you get you've been told like you gotta blame me. somebody, right? Instead of blaming yourself, and it's it's really me. It's right. really me. It's yeah. me holding me back. Yeah, yeah. that's yeah. pretty much what it be like. Yeah. Absolutely, yeah. It's definitely that, but um, I don't know. I don't, I don't think I'm in a healthy place with sex. That's you don't crazy. think so? No. I mean, I honestly feel like I've learned to say no. Mm. Period. And now, like. There, I'm, it's st- it's still a learning process. You can never just say no, and and that's just like I'm always say no. Like there's times where I'm like, no, but or mm-hmm. I don't feel like let me get this dumbass something. But then it's like there's moments where I say motherfucking no, right? And that's just what it is. Like and I they get mad and they leave yeah. and okay. But when they get mad like that, I love when they get mad because it shows me that you ain't shit. Yeah. Like like it's it's just the bottom line. You ain't shit, and mm-hmm. I, and I actually feel more comfortable with that because I'm like. Now I know I shouldn't give you that. Mm-hmm. Like, you don't even deserve this good ass pussy. Right. Like you stay over that. And when you just said that, I'm gonna try that because I've never done that before. 
um, when you said that you actually talked to him after sex and had like an open open dialogue about like what you liked and what he what right. you didn't like. I never done that. Never turned around and was like, yeah, when you had my leg up like that, I almost died. Like, but let's try this next time or let's not, like, I've had mm-hmm. conversations like that, like later on, but mm-hmm. not right. Cause you still in that moment. Like I still locked into each other. Like you, you feel like he's still inside you to have that type of conversation. That's a whole nother level of intimacy. And it's, it's enjoyable. So you feel, actually feel kind of satisfied. Like right. you just had sex with some random ass nigga. Like you had sex with somebody who like you, like, cause he, he took the time out to listen to what you like and what right. you don't like. I don't I'm like do that. to say those words out loud. Oh, the like, N word. Oh, like, yeah. Wait, yeah. what? <laughs> I'm joking. Oh, I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> I really want to say that I, you know, like this individual. But yeah. Well, you you appreciate them then. Okay, we can say that. <laughs> we can you're say like, you don't like the L word? I okay. don't. I do not like the L word. What? <laughs> but I know, but seriously, mm. that, I like that though. I need to do no, that. I, I'm no, I like that. honestly it, it was it's it was also very hum- humbling. But yeah, I think everyone should do that. Even like what Ricky was talking about with her best guy friend, whoever this individual is, I like <laughs> You guys are we'll friends. Kind of after the we, are, we are friends. Like, you're friends before you're anything else. And I feel like that's how we should always be. Yeah. Because like, the next person that I'm with, I want us to, to be, be friends. friends. Like, right. I want to be able, like, that's one thing I miss about being in a relationship. I haven't been in a relationship in a very, 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 very long time. Um, But I think it's a good thing because I was going through depression and all yeah. kind of stuff. So, um, and then, you know, I was celibate for like, you know, a couple years. But, I take it as getting to know myself, but, um, yeah, I want to get to, I want to know that person. Like I want to be able to let myself let go with you and be all into you and, you know, us talk about sex before we have it. Me like, yeah. So these are the things that I went through my trauma and be honest, have an open, honest relationship with that next person, you know, because I miss being, huh? It's not like you start. You need to have that conversation with yourself first. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. So she put her business out like I that. Know. <laughs> but like the more she talks about it, it sounds like it's not. It's for her. It's not like I don't know. I feel like all three of us. It's just not a healthy place. Like you, we're just not comfortable with ourselves and trust ourselves to mm-hmm. actually open up. That's why you won't bust your bust your nut and release. <laughs> and why bust you it. want. Bussy. Won't be in a fulfilled relationship where, you, though you have this like perfect friendship, you won't allow him more than that. I, I ain't gonna say it's perfect. Ain't well, perfect. good, yeah, you're right. That is perfect. But, like, it ain't friendship. perfect. And while um, I won't be full blown naked in my damn sex, sex times, and yeah. all that, so it just sounds very unhealthy for us. Yeah, it's, I mean, it's a, but we're getting there. You yeah, know? we're getting we said there. Healing is a journey. Right, and it's a marathon. It's not right. a sprint. You yeah. know, so. Right. Shit take time. It does take time. And I'm not gonna, and when it comes to me and sex, like if it's outside of, of a relationship and I was actually just talking to someone about this, that's probably one of my biggest boundaries what I have. It's like I'm not gonna give you everything that I oh, got, yeah. bro. You're not my nigga. Mm. <laughs> like if you're a sneaky link or if you're some like we're situational type shit, you're gonna yeah. be some sneaky link situational type pussy. Yeah, like, you get these period. basic little three yeah. positions and yeah. you're gonna go about your business. And then side you know, front and back and on top. Like, no, I'm not riding it because if I ride it, I'm going to feel like powerful and all in control. But then like, bitch, you're not even mine. Yeah. I'm like riding your dick. you're not my nigga. <laughs> and I, I'm well, see, so I serious about it. I don't even want to have that anymore. Like I want to be, you in, want a relationship. Yeah. You want to be in love. Yeah. I love that for you. Ricky. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I, you. like right now I don't want just, no, I love uh, it for me too. <laughs> but I just, I don't want no, just no regular regular. Like no, I haven't had seriously. that so yes. much. And I'm just like, I don't want that anymore because it's, I don't enjoy it. I don't enjoy it. And I don't like, because after I have sex, I'm like, oh, well, I did it. Right. You know, it's not, it's not, it's it, empty. it is, it's, it's empty. empty. Yes. And I don't want that feeling anymore. Mm-mm. I want to be able to be open and just be able to be with that person. And then he also got to be able to like, be there connected in my mind too. Like, I, I don't want to sound like no hotel in that, but I just say, no, like he, I just want him to be like, we can, we can look at each other and don't even have to say no yeah, words. Like, right. it's, oh. you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, like sometimes you have that with somebody, but it's not sexual. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I want to have that all in one person. Mm-hmm. I don't know if that's me putting too much pressure on so. my next person, whoever <laughs> you are out there. I know you're out there. Right. Um, <laughs> I don't know where you at though, but you out there. 
I'm going to yeah. find you. I think it's obtainable. Yeah, yeah. I just got to put it out there. And I, I, think, I, I take pride in sex. Like, I take pride in my guy coming or my guy, you know. Oh, it, you it know? gets me so excited. It literally makes me happy. So it's like, I'm not going to give anyone that energy if you're not my nigga. Right. You're not my man. Like, I'm working hard to get you excited. You know. I'm working hard to like, oh, you enjoy this? Yes. Oh, that just makes me like, yes. Because I feel like there's a power that comes in there. Mm-hmm. Like, especially when you're in a relationship because like, bro, we're committed to each other. Yeah, we're so connected. So I am the pussy that you're getting and I'm <laughs> asking you to not get it from anybody else. So I need to make sure that you're, you know, and you gotta make and sure you're that connecting because uh, you're connecting. It's but the whole thing. you know that's just not a, a season of my life right now because she's single and she does not bop and bop. Neither do I. Love that for us. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> but happy for you, Shanti, in your relationship. I am in a very. Um, you, you gotta tell us your business, yeah, and, then, and that's your business, mm-hmm. okay? I mean, she did How a whole doing? podcast episode about it, one like the single with the married folks. Yeah, yeah and I heard some things. I'm gonna mind my business. Listen, it's a lie. You say Linda, this, Linda. this is about sex, so I don't even want to talk about that. Let's talk about sex, baby. baby. Let's talk, talk about, about you and me. Let's talk about bubbles in the tub. Hey. Let's talk about making, making love. This is the outro, by the way, unless we had something else that I we wanted to, to discuss. This. I need to work on it. Don't, Don't do me. Because Whoa. we started okay, good. First of all, we started good. This is our first time collaborating Period. in song. Thank you. Thank you. So we're we going to get it together. Work and next time, this harmonization that we're going to um, give you. I it's think I fire. will be comfortable with sex and my sexuality once I record myself and keep it. I recorded myself one time, and I deleted that shit so fast. I was like, what the fuck? It was like, ew, it was like so awkward hearing myself, like, just moaning and shit. I love hearing myself moan. I'm sorry. Go ahead. Honestly, I just, <laughs> no, to see myself on camera and just, I was yeah. like, shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's funny you say that because I well I wouldn't record myself but um the girl I was telling you about Shane Booty that's on um Instagram um I think she's a sex therapist something like that and she was like take a mirror and look down look at yourself yeah and I was like damn when the last time I looked down there and you know she was like explore you know get to know yourself that's another thing she was saying get to know yourself like look down there and I looked and I was like wow. <laughs> This, this is what y'all be This is this was you know, but I was like, okay, I get it. I need to, you know, so yeah. It's a whole experience, man. It is. Sex is sex is very powerful. It yeah, is. It's too powerful. Entirely too powerful. And it'll make you fall in love with the wrong person. That's why I don't be out here fucking It's more powerful, sex or love. I say love is more powerful. I mean, sex will make you think you're in love. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. It'll give you a false pretense. Mm-hmm. That's definitely what clouds your judgment. Oh, yes. So. Love clouds your judgment, too. It, it, I mean, it's about the same level, I tell right. you. Like, if you getting good sex and love, shit, you all. I think you're getting love. Mm. Yeah. I ain't gonna lie, that's gonna be kind of horny because. Well, okay, well, that was a great know, episode. Honestly, I was yes. like, I'm about to text this nigga and be like, <laughs> right. well, let me stop, let me stop. No, let me because stop. it's honestly been a little minute for me. So, like, in a whole. All right, guys, so we're gonna go ahead and plug in our social media accounts because obviously we have some stuff that we need to deal with tonight. Obviously. And so, we hungry, too. So we're, and we're hungry, so, hungry, so you know we're not thinking say. straight. So, that's, let me let me go feed myself. So right. Like, yeah, let's do that. Let's do that. Let's do that. All right, so. I have nobody to text, though, but you do that. I feel like that's cat, but whatever. No, yeah. no, I don't have anybody in Florida that I mess with. Mm-mm. Oh, in Florida. Mm-hmm. Okay. I mean, you can do a little Skypey Skype, a little, right. a a little, little FaceTime sex. action. We sex. talk about folks. <laughs> little pretty Ricky. Yeah. <laughs> so you guys know you can follow me, Kingdom Kid, on Instagram at a moment with a. Same on Facebook. Twitter is underscore Kile. And I am Shanceology on IG and Facebook Shansi Shan J Chance. You can follow your girl. And it's your girl Ricky. I am becoming a dot 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 podcast. You can find me on Instagram, becoming a dot podcast. You can hit me up on Facebook at Ricky Edits Life Media. That's R-I-C-K-I Edits Life Media. And then on Twitter, Ricky Edits Life Media. 
and on YouTube because I also have video podcasts that I do with some amazing people and that's on Ricky Edits Life Media on YouTube and Becoming a Dot Podcast has its own playlist. Dope. You have a lot of places to hit right. Ricky up at. <laughs> All right, so thank you guys for tuning in. Or is it okay if I do a moment with the intro, outro? Oh, yeah. yeah do okay. You, do you, boo. Love that. So thank you guys for tuning into this podcast episode. Um, keep God first and go be great. Bye. Bye.